Hey guys, so we're going to talk about the uh, the John Deere uh, walk behind, right? This is the uh, the Hydro, the 52 inch, and this thing, this is the hoss right here. This thing is just a monster mower. It's it's awesome though. I mean, it really is. Here's the here's the model of it. It's the WH 52A, and it's the 52 inch deck. Uh, it's it's super freaking heavy duty. Uh, it's got the mulching plate on. I'll show you on the other side. Comes with the 18.5 horse motor. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Briggs and Stratton, if I remember right. Oh, Kawasaki. My bad. Right there. It's the Kawasaki motor. And um, let's see. I got this. I would say probably mid 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 summer. I guess I got this thing. And wow, it really, really, really increases production um, on particular days. Now, on a lot of days, it didn't increase production. It actually slowed production because if I had this machine with me, then I would have to use, absolutely have to use a smaller machine to get into so many gates. Um, so I would get this thing off my trailer, get it out of my way and mow the front yard with it because I had it running so let's mow the front yard to kind of charge the battery up a little bit from what we just used to start and then pull the 32 off the, the, the trailer and go mow the backyard and then load the 32 back up and then load this back up you know and it's just it got to be kind of too much too many times I had to do that and I'm carrying around this big old hoss of a machine I mean this thing weighs like 800 pounds and then I'm carrying around a 450 or 500 pound 32 inch. Um, it's just so much friggin' weight. Uh, and you know, and every single yard that I pulled up to, every single yard that I pulled up to, I would have to take this mower out of the way and pull my 32 off um, to do the backyard. So there's very few yards that I was able to um, use this mower on. Now. I set up days where I could go out with just this machine and I could go mowing um, and I would go and do like 12 to 15 yards in one day um, what 480 to 500 and something dollars depending on the yards uh, with just this machine and a weed eater edger blower and a hedge trimmer you know and I wouldn't even need the 32 uh, but the 32 is on the trailer because you just never really, you know, I mean, you know, don't leave a mower at home if you can take it with you in case something happens, you know, you can, you can finish your job. So um, I would sit there and do a whole day with this machine and really kick ass. Uh, but that was few and far in between. So I decided to get myself the 42 inch zero turn, uh, the Gravely. Um, because it you know you can watch that video and it explains why I, I got that and I mean that's going to go back to increasing my production tremendously like keep my load light too because now I just have the 42 inch and that gets into 80 to 90 percent of most of my yards um, so I can do the front yards and backyards with just that zero turn and then what few yards I can't get it into then I got my badass 21 inch self-propelled mower I use so that allowed me to get a lighter trailer a smaller trailer an enclosed trailer it fits in my garage it keeps all my equipment safe and um, it's lighter to tow around more efficient and you know it's a smaller trailer so my 42 my 21 my weed eater blower edge or hedge trimmer uh, can of gas rake and I'm down the road um, and at the end of the day I back the trailer in the garage and shut the door and I love it uh, super efficient so because uh, you know when you're a business owner you got a lot of um, undocumented time you know non billable hours that you work and I mean that includes your trailer time messing around with your trailer um, everything you know sharpening blades so this machine doesn't get used very much anymore in fact it sat all winter up at the um, a local dealer here but nothing sells in the winter so I snatched it back up um, as things are going to start warming back up, I snatched it up to go ahead and service it. And um, 
I figured, well, I'm going to shoot a video and, and we'll just talk about it real quick. Um, so, like I said, this thing's like 800 pounds. It's, um, it's got 100, no, it's got 270 hours on it. Maybe that'll show. Uh, 270.5 hours on it. It operates exactly like a stander. So you got, um, you got your paddles here and, uh, you know, you got your push them both forward. Uh, to go forward um, you know this one here makes it turn that way that one makes it turn that way pull it back makes it go this way pull this back makes it go that way so you got forward and reverse all right here with your two paddles um, super simple here's your hydro fill right here blade PTO on off your key your choke your throttle your battery and your hydro filter is uh, where the heck is that right here there's the hydraulics filter. Uh, then you got your gas and oil for your mower. Sharpen the blades. A few grease fittings here and there. And you are down the road. This thing's just a monster. It's got the mulching plate on it, as you can see here. That's a, a John Deere plate. That's a, that's a nice deal right there because with the deck being so wide and so powerful, man, that just shoots forever. So you really need a shoot blocker or, or something. Um, so when I bought this machine, it had that plate on it, and I never took it off. And I never have a problem really 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 thick stuff i might slow down a little bit um but this thing does a great job of, of uh, just tearing it up and going right through it the wheels are solid front uh, so you never need air for these wheels you got the weights on here so the deck's not bouncing around on you you got your anti-scalp wheels in the front and there's two in the back there and it's a floating deck so it'll ride you know it'll hit those anti-scalp wheels and you see these pins right here and right here and then you got two on the other side so the anti-scout wheels will make the deck go up and down um, so it's just sitting there now you don't raise this deck up like at the end of the day to load it onto the trailer or at the end of the yard you don't raise and lower a deck like a zero turn that deck stays just like that um, and you adjust its height with those cotter pins you pull those cotter pins out and you can adjust the height uh, and then there's also little washers that you can put in between those cotter pin holes for even minor adjustments you know a more minute adjustment um, so that's you know kind of neat less linkage and stuff to have to mess with so uh, let me see what else the motor is a Kawasaki v-twin 18.5 changed oil run clean gas through it runs like a champ man things really a nice machine let's go ahead and fire it up it's got a creeping issue so it might creep I don't know We'll see. A little throttle, a little choke. Oh, it's staying good. Wouldn't that sound good? There you go. Um, I'm thoroughly impressed with this machine. I got some some contracts out right now, some bids out on some contracts, I should say. And uh, if they come through, then this machine will get used. If they don't come through, then I'm probably going to go ahead and, and just let the machine go. Just go ahead and sell it because um, it's just there's no sense in having this thing go to waste. This is a a serious money maker that needs nothing. I mean, it's just, it's ready to go. So we'll just have to see what happens. Um, anyways, thanks for uh, thanks for checking it out. Again, this is the John Deere WH52A.